Oh, what's up, Game Loopers? The Jizz back at it. And patch 11.9 is now live. And because I'm such a good guy, I don't want you guys going into the new patch blind as a bat. So I'm going to fill you in on the 15 most broken items in 11.9. And I'll give you a few champions as well who can abuse each one. So it would be a very wise idea to indulge in the picks I give you for some LP in the next two weeks. Now, I want to know, what do you guys think is the most OP item in the game right now? Like, if you could pick one to be nerfed because it's that giga busted, let me know in the comments. And while you're doing that, quickly smash that sub button if you haven't already. And check out the Game Loop website for the best meta season. 11 challenger content that has helped thousands of your fellow summoners improve and climb i'm uploading exclusive daily videos as well guys for our subscribers so join the fam links as always in the description and comment section all right let's get into it and starting off the countdown is a mythic item that actually got nerfed this patch but guess what it's so broken that it doesn't really matter so to those of you still playing skana and udir and building turbo chem tank as your mythic keep doing so because it's still super good you might be losing a bit of movement speed in the active this patch but it's still just 2800 gold guys and gives you so much and i'm sure most of you have had enough of chem tank at this point because it's so good and you'd be right because the stats the emulate passive and the mythic passive that gives you ability haste for each legendary item these are just huge for a mythic under 3,000 gold like ever since riot reduced the price of this bad boy near the start of the season it's been the standout tank mythic so much so that even supports have been building it and it's still in a very strong spot now if chem tank is number 15 on this countdown well we're in for quite a show aren't we now beating the tank to number 14 on this list we have an item that also got buffed earlier this season and for some mages the new cosmic drive has given you a real boost in power and this major item is one of the reasons champions like Vladimir, Ari, and Silas are being picked a heck of a lot more across the board, because they are OP. Their synergy with the ability he has is where it really pops off, because back when the drive first came out in the preseason, guys, yeah, it was alright, but other items were stronger. Well, with the new haze passive that gives you another 20 after two items and permanent movement speed, it's so much more valuable. And it's so good, in fact, that some other majors like Zoe and Victor have moved away from the hitting hard build to a hitting more often build. So the CD is in at number 14, and ahead of it, we have our second and mythic item of the countdown which got a quality of life fix this patch but yeah even without it it's still very oppressive and one of the best snowbully items in the game so if you're playing any ad assassin really talon zed kiana garzix prowler's claw is a weapon of a purchase it gives you guys the most lethality in the game the most and very few champions will have the armor to negate this damage so you can roam and blow up anyone that gets a bit too close to you and yes this will be easier this patch because riot have made it so that your claws active will dash you towards the champion near your cursor because sometimes if you click just a pixel away from the champion you want to jump on, well, it wasn't accurate enough. So Rito giving you a bit of leeway in this regard is nice. And the last point I want to make, guys, is around Prowler's Mythic Passive. More lethality for each major item after that? Yes, please. This means when you buy Serpent's Fang and Ghostblade and Edge of Night, not only are you getting some lethality from these, but even more because of the Claw's Passive. And for 3,200 gold, this item gives you a ridiculous amount of power. Now, speaking of ridiculous power, coming in at number 12 is another Mythic that got changed recently. And guess what? This has been for the better because Trinity Force is no longer a meme item. If you're a fighter, it gives you pretty much everything you ever wanted and no longer gives you a needless amount of attack speed. More AD and its base stats and mythic passive, more ability has some movement speed, and its threefold strike passive now procs on towers. So if you're playing Camille or Wukong or Aurelia, you're hitting harder, your abilities are up more often, you're harder to stick to, and you have another way to win because your split pushing is deadly. The TF has improved massively, guys, since the 11-7 changes, so get around it. Now, beating the force to the 11th spot in our countdown is the one and only epic item I'm throwing at you and surely none of you are going to be surprised with this one because bramble vest i mean me just saying its name do you guys feel it for just 800 gold it gives you 35 armor which is more than sunfire aegis frostfire gauntlet and turbo chem tank and two passives and one of these got buffed this season so if another champion is having a crack at you with some auto attacks you dish a bit of magic damage back at them and you inflict them with grievous wounds which now last three seconds and not two so if you're playing a tank in the top lane and even some bruises the vest is one of the best cucks to heavy basic attackers like jacks trendomir aurelia even and they will hate life because it's that busted. Now another item that doesn't have any real counterplay is another reason why Ari, Silas, Twisted Fate, heck I mean most mages build it these days, it's that good and this is the Mythic Everfrost. And this item used to be trash when it first came out but after buffing it in 11.4, Riot have made it one of the best in the entire game. And there are two big reasons for this. Its active's cast time was reduced so it basically just happens quicker, thus making it easier for you to make plays and it now builds out a Kindle gem. So it's just way more convenient to build and you're also getting 20 ability haze from Lost Chapter and Kindle gem and more HP after completing Everfrost. And these mages guys I mentioned work so well with it because they have crowd control. Whether it's TF with his stun card, Ari with her charm, Silas with his chain, the Glacier Active sets this CT up and plays a huge part in fights. Now the items thus far you might have been able to predict, and if you're enjoying the video thus far make sure to let me know by liking it, but this next item guys well it's a little harder to anticipate because it's still rarely built and I don't know why because the new Shirelli's battle song is actually insane. So instead of grinding your allies magic damage when you empower or protect them, you now 
now grant them movement speed instead, and for two of the best AD carries like Jinx and Jin, movement speed is one of the best stats for them, and expect to see both of these picked with a Shirelli the supported MSI. And this has seen the win rates of Sona and Soraka in particular skyrocket in high elo. So stop building Moonstone and invest in the new and improved Shirelias. Now these next few items guys, you know what, I'm going to give them to you all at once, that's how generous I am, and that's because they can be abused on one champion class in particular. So if you're playing a bruiser, juggernaut, fighter in that top lane or in the jungle or even in the mid lane, well these major items are making you guys some of the most powerful champions on the rift. So first up, we have Strybreaker, then Steric's Gauge, Titanic Hydra, and the new Death Stance. So for Strybreaker, well this mythic could be the most hated item in the game, especially in lower levels of play, because there is no counterplay. When Riot increases dash range in 11.5, I'm pretty sure some of us quit. Like if you're in a mobile mid lane or a AD carrier, or any squishy for that matter, if a Garen or Darius Stride breaks onto your head, you're dead. Now Steric's Gauge has always been an amazing item, and it continues to be so this season, especially after Riot bug fixes passive, so that it now stacks properly. So your sustain in your late game 1v1s and team fights is unmatched. And it's hard to think of a bruiser who doesn't build the gauge as that good. Now Titanic Hydra is on this list really because of its synergy with Urgot, but it's also why champions like Kled and Shen are very good as well. The HP, the AD, and the two passes give you enough beef and threat and on hit to 1v1 pretty much anyone. And last up for this stack of bruiser items, the new Death Stance is giving you 5 more attack damage and 5 more armor in 11.9, and this item, though it wasn't really built that much before this patch, was still reaping victories, and this will only increase this patch. You're harder to take down while everyone else is easier to kill, just make sure to build it into heavy AD comps. Now if you want to improve and win and climb and impress your parents guys, you also have to make sure to check out the Game Weave website for that exclusive challenger tier content that has helped our subscribers smash their way out of ELO Hell. It's time to join up yourself for more of the jizz and for that LP, links down below. So yeah, the fourth best item of 11.9 guys, well this one isn't built by bruisers, thank god, unless you're a Chad AP Singe player, and it is the biggest power spike in the game. And you can now reach this earlier because Riot decreased the price of Rabadon's death cap by 200 gold in 11.6. So if death cap is the biggest power spike in the game, how is it not the best item? Well, we're talking about bang for your buck guys, and death cap is the most expensive item in the shop. And yes, it gives you the most AP, and with a lead, it is an unreal second purchase. You can kill off a game quicker and one-shot practically anyone, it's just that there are three other items that give you more for their price. And the first of these is kicking off the top three, and this is the best and last of the juggernaut items, I promise, on this Gowdad. And yes, the stats gargoyle of Stoneplate gives you a nutty, but the passive and active are what really stand out here. So if you want to become unkillable, and you're on Daria, Sion, Cho'Gath, Nasus, get a Stoneplate, it's that simple. Its fortified passive enhances your tankiness as you're fighting, making you hard to deal with in the split push and in team fights, and the monolith active, I mean the name is scary enough, gives you a shield and size so you can block and eat every skill shot the enemy team throws at your team, and you 1v9 by just soaking up damage and cooldowns. Ever since Riot buffed its stacking in 11-2, Gargoyle has been a top tier item and is still among the cream of the shop. Now we're ever so close to the ultimate cream here guys, and just buying the best item in the game is another mage item, how many of these have we had, and this mythic is destroying the rift at the moment. So if you're not playing Annie, or Galio, or Vladimir, or Echo, well it's time to because the new Hextech rocket belt is a belter, and on these champions guys, the new 6 magic pen you're getting right off the bat is giving you a much bigger power spike in terms of damage, and that's all that matters this meta. And this change has seen Annie mains build the belt again because it gives you so much kill threat, and also great scaling because of its mythic passive, which gives you even more penetration. So if the enemy team does dare to build magic resist, they still can't stop you. You get 90 AP as well and some ability haste and guys, oh it's just too broken. But even though Rocket Belt is that good, there is still one item, guys, that is a clear winner. And in high elo, this stacking item, like it's rare not to see it built because it's so busted for just 1600 gold. And yes, Magi Soul Stealer is the most broken item in the game. And players building it, get this, win close to 75% of their games. 75%. This is by far the highest. The fact that damage is high means kills and deaths are flying around all over the place. So if you just farm and chill and let the enemy champions make the mistakes, you can very quickly get to a fully stacked Magi's and take over in the blink of an eye. And I would highly recommend you try this out on whatever AP champion you're playing, just so you know why this is boasting the number one spot. And that was the countdown, guys. Did I miss an item? Did I include an item I shouldn't have? Let me know in the comments. And until tomorrow's video, this has been Coach. Peace.